In this section, we are going to create more useful code. We will cover writing a service to provide reusable functionality, using Drupal hooks, and writing a QWorker plugin. In this video, we will look at utilizing an interface and an abstract class, and dependency injection with services. While our aquifer retrieval service doesn't actually utilize an external source to gather data on aquifers, we do want to have a service that allows us to manage our aquifers on the site. We can see that our interface specifies that our service needs to provide methods to read the aquifers on our site and to update aquifers on our site. The thinking is that we will periodically pull the external source to gather the latest information and then we'll update the information on our site. You may be wondering why we don't have a method to create an aquifer on our site in the first place. Let's have a look at our abstract class to answer that question. Our abstract class defines only one method, a method to create an aquifer. By using an abstract class, we can declare the method protected. An interface only allows public methods. You can read the fairly extensive comments in this abstract class to understand the thinking on this more. Our aquifer manager service is where all of our logic resides. We define a class that extends our abstract class and implements our interface. Notice that we have a constructor in this service. We are utilizing dependency injection to allow us to get at node storage so that we can query our database. We will see how we specify the object to be injected later in this video. Our create aquifer method does pretty much what one would expect, and there is not much that needs to be called out specifically. Do take note of the fact that we perform some rudimentary validation of our results. The validate past fields method will throw an exception that terminates our processing if validation fails. The read aquifer method is also unremarkable in what it does and requires no further comment. One thing to point out in the update aquifer method is that it begins by querying to see if the aquifer already exists. If it doesn't, then control will be passed to the create aquifer method. Now we see why we didn't need to provide a public method to create the aquifer. Our class contains a few private utility methods that we have used in other methods. The doc blocks of these methods should make their purpose self-evident. Let's have a look at our services YAML file and see how we registered this service. We had previously registered the aquifer retrieval service. Now we are registering our aquifer manager service. Notice that we have added an arguments key. The at sign tells Symfony that we are requesting another service. The service we are requesting is the entity manager service. Symfony injects this service via our services constructor. 